Here we go. Washington Full Circle is about to begin. Okay, I only have 20 seconds, so let me make it quick. Uh, we want to know what you're thinking. Go to Facebook, become a fan of Washington Full Circle, and leave your comments. Hurry, the show's about to begin. Okay, Washington Full Circle's up next. Get in the circle. Coming up, Washington Full Circle goes to work in search of some of the city's most interesting jobs and places to work. Like inside the Cowgirl Creamery, which houses a whole wide world of cheese in the middle of downtown DC. And it takes nerves of steel not to get a little rattled when your job is to charm one of these creatures. Also, what a life. Some grown-ups still get to spend time with their choo-choo trains as part of their job. And his job is to manage a team with some of the biggest names in tennis. The work doesn't get any better than this. Plus, it's got to be one of the sweetest jobs around when your team's kick is heard around the world. It's off to work this week as we clock into some of DC's most interesting jobs and places to work next on Washington Full Circle. on the streets of downtown Washington looking for work. Well, not exactly. Let me explain. For the past few months, our Washington Full Circle team has been all around the city looking for interesting jobs and interesting places to work. Hi, everybody. I'm Furman Patterson, so let's get to work. When you think about working in the big city, you don't usually think about cowgirls or cows or big old blocks of cheese the size of automobile tires. But that's exactly what you think about if you work at the Cowgirl Creamery, smack in the middle of downtown Washington. Take a look at this. Working in the gourmet food industry can be very rewarding, especially when you're working for the big cheese. What's it like to work in a cheese shop? Uh, it's great. I love my job. That's well, cheese expert that. Adam Smith, manager of the Cowgirl Creamery, smack in the middle of downtown Washington. And so when someone sees in the window Cowgirl Creamery, mm -hmm. what exactly is that? Uh, Cowgirl Creamery, well, we're a cheese shop. Uh, cheese shop, you can see we do wine and beer as well. The California-based Cheese Enterprise features its own award-winning cheese and select brands from across the country. But this is about the closest you'll come to a cow at the D.C. location. The company's actual cheese-making creameries are all out west. Being able to offer a product that is handmade and that takes a lot of time and effort and dedication on the part of a cheesemaker. Uh, being able to offer that product to people is fantastic. So what's a full service cheese counter like? Well, just watch Adam Smith in action. Another big cheese that we have. This is made in Vermont. Uh, it's a traditional cloth bound cheddar. And cloth bound means that it is indeed bound in cloth. This is quite different. I think this is a unique flavor compared to most other cheeses that we have. This is Wasatch Mountain. And this is a beautiful cow's milk cheese made with raw milk uh, produced in Richmond, Utah. Two ways you can do it. I like sticking a spoon straight in and like twisting and then pulling a bite out. This is called Kirkham's Lancashire. This is made in Ireland. County Cork, it's called Kool-Aid. It's a 100% pasteurized cow's milk. This is one of the reasons why I love my job so much. We know how good we have it, and we work very hard to offer the best to our guests. But how does one become a cheese expert? It's a lot of reading, and it's a lot of asking questions. Where the cheese is made, who's making it, what they're making it with, uh, why they're making it, how long have they been making it. 
when you learn about cheese, you learn about a whole lot of different things. You learn about agriculture, you learn about culture, you learn about language, you learn about animals and milk and chemistry and biology. So it's fascinating and so it's easy to learn about. Okay, so I never got to see real cowgirls at the Cowgirl Creamery, but lots of authentic cheese lovers. We love what we do, and we love being able to serve cheeses like this to uh, people in Washington. So don't go away. We'll be right back with more of Washington's most interesting jobs, and interesting places to work when Washington Full Circle returns. With all of the great information about where to go, what to do, and what to see in D.C., who wouldn't want to become a fan of the show? Become a fan of Washington Full Circle on Facebook today. In a suit and briefcase kind of city roam the likes of some real lions and tigers and bears. That's why working at the next gig can seem like a real zoo. Take a look at this. If you think your office is a zoo, try working at the zoo. With over 2,000 animals from 400 different species, working at the Smithsonian's National Zoo is not your average nine to five especially for the biologists at the zoo, who are responsible for the daily care of its animals. Here at the zoo, a biologist is also just a very general term that we use um, for someone that's got some supervisory roles in addition to um, doing keeper duties, educational component, um, research, so it encompasses all. Just a wide variety of things. So what's it like being one of the 250 workers at the National Zoo? It's a lot of fun. So every day, new challenges be able to come in and, and work with a really diverse collection of animals. And for me, being able to work with animals that are critically endangered, animals that are part of a species survival plan, what we call an SSP, um, it, for me, it feels, uh, feels like you're, you're making a difference. You're participating in something where you can actually be a part of, of change. And there's such a wide variety of animals at the zoo, especially in the Reptile Discovery Center from some of the world's deadliest snakes to endangered frogs, even demonstration animals that the public can touch. This is an animal that we readily use for demos, so it's used to people, so you can actually can touch, touch it, it. it's I fine. Touch it, not be um, scared, and it feels really good. It's not slimy it's or It's not slimy like or wet, no. it feels pretty smooth. Yes. Does it feel pretty strong, pretty muscular? It, yes, it feels like it's all muscle. All muscle. <laughs> um, this snake is a constrictor, so okay. it, uh, its whole body is gonna feel like one giant muscle. Um, and that's why it's kind of twisting. Can, you can kind of see uh, yeah. some for stability a little bit, but also uh, that's kind of what they do. They kind of wrap corals around you. And um, But he's not doing anything aggressive. He's acting very, very calm, very deliberate with his uh, movements and his tongue flicking, just kind of checking things out. This is more like an enrichment for him than, uh, than anything stressful. If this sounds like your dream job, you might want to know what it takes to be one of the keepers at the zoo. Some type of degree in environmental science, uh, biology. Um, a lot of uh, keepers here at the National Zoo also have a background in animal behavior or psychology because a lot of what we do involves training using operant conditioning techniques. A lot of people get their experience from actually volunteering at the zoo behind the scenes, learning what we do, how to safely handle animals. For me, it was very important volunteering. It was very important with my various field experience. Um, and then the academic background, I think, I think all three of those things um, make you pretty well-rounded um, for, for a job like I have. Well, my background is definitely not in biology, but I still got a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get up close to some of my favorite animals. Never thought that I would be touching a, touching a tortoise in the zoo <laughs> as many years as I've been here. Now, the tortoises are cute. But don't be do fooled, I I these are wild and dangerous animals, and this amazing and unique profession is truly for the well-trained. As a kid, to wake up and find a shiny new train under the Christmas tree was just about enough to make a kid keel over with excitement. But just imagine if they told me that when I grew up, I could work on trains all the time as part of my job. Just imagine that. A 
imagine growing up playing with trains and then one day landing your dream job and playing with them all the time. Well, it's possible. Oh, boy. Amtrak serves over 500 destinations and 30 plus routes across North America for travelers. Headquartered in Washington, D.C. inside historic Union Station, Amtrak is a corporation striving to deliver a high-quality, safe, on-time rail passenger service that exceeds customers' expectations. But in order to make that happen, it takes an army of employees. A lot of times people think of the many benefits that we have and that we offer. Um, competitive salaries, depending on your job functional area, what type of role you'll play. Some people love operations, which we're about 85% operations. Uh, some people like the thrill of the, the office environment, so it really depends on who you ask. But for me, I just like the challenges of making sure we have an equal opportunity for work environment. Amtrak employs thousands of diverse, energetic professionals in a variety of career fields. There are plenty of jobs at Amtrak that take place off of the train, so if operating a train isn't for you, there's no need to worry. Amtrak offers fantastic benefits, good entry-level rates, and their mid-level professional position salaries are extremely comparable to other industries. And the number one benefit, employees of Amtrak get to ride the trains for free, as well as their spouse and eligible age children. And did I mention that if you live in the D.C. metro area and work for Amtrak, you can commute to work on an Amtrak train. In most cases, many people like what they do. Our average tenure here for a, a long time has been at least 20 to 25 years. Amtrak may take you coast to coast, but with DC as its headquarters, it's the perfect destination to your career. Current job listings can be found at Amtrak.com. Click Careers. We think that Washington, D.C. has a lot of interesting jobs and very interesting places to work. And we're about to show you a lot more of them when Washington Full Circle returns. Become a fan of Washington Full Circle on Facebook today. Brokers, bankers, and sandwich makers. Now, we know they're all busy right now in downtown D.C., but our team went to work looking for some of the most interesting jobs and interesting places to work. Now, where do you see the next one? I'm no Serena, but my heart's in the right place. I love tennis, and I can't think of a better way to spend the day. And since D.C.'s scenic southwest waterfront is now home to the two-time World Team Tennis Champions, I jumped at the opportunity to spend the afternoon behind the scenes with the Washington Castles. The owner of the Washington Castles, Mr. Mark Dines. Tell me, how, how did you end up here in this beautiful location? I came down here and I sat here on the water and I thought, wow, if we could put a stadium here, this would be really special, and it's all come together and been magical. I love my life, I love my job, it's really rewarding, and I'm based right in D.C., which uh, has also been just terrific for us. Hobnobbing with tennis pros is every fan's dream come true. But running a first-class tennis team isn't all fun and games. Someone's on the sidelines making sure that the fans' experience is memorable. On a day-to-day -day basis, what is your job? What do you do? Well, as you can imagine, there's a lot of moving parts. Um, everything from ticket sales to marketing to public relations to guest services, uh, security, concessions. There's a lot of details to, to iron out. And let's just say I'm stretched in a lot of different directions, but I enjoy every minute of it. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your job because I know you're busy. Originated by tennis great Billie Jean King, World Team Tennis consists of professional players that compete three weeks every summer. And with the first perfect season in WTT history, it's no surprise that the Castles are number one in the world. We are really proud to have them as the team representing the District of Columbia on the professional tennis circuit. And I gotta tell you, that is the most outstanding looking trophy I think I have ever seen. I'm here with the Murphy Jensen and I'm so excited to... You're with Coach Murphy. Coach Murphy Jensen. He was so kind enough to allow us to take a little backstage pass look at the team. You're behind the scenes. 
we're behind the scenes for all the real action is. You have such great spirit and great energy. It's so fun to watch you. What motivates you? Well, I have passion for living. I'm going to Huckleberry there in Santa Monica, California, where I live, or getting on a plane and landing at VCA and just heading to some great restaurant. Well, you definitely have my uh, dream job. So uh, I think uh, you're doing you're doing very well, Thank and you. and the team is doing extremely well right now. We become a family on this team. We're a family with our fans. We're a family with the city of DC. You know, and I said at one of the earliest matches, and they said, "How do you?" handled the pressure and I said you know what uh, from what I've seen in and around the DC area uh, we pressure for breakfast so with that said you know we're ready to go well, we're ready to watch you go and watch you win thank you so much for your time you too and I like your blue <laughs> thank you I love it Woo! game set match So we're going to take a look at another interesting place to work in Washington, D.C., and I'll see you right after the break when Washington Full Circle returns. With all of the great information about where to go, what to do, and what to see in D.C., who wouldn't want to become a fan of the show? Become a fan of Washington Full Circle on Facebook today. Welcome back to Washington Full Circle. I'm Furman Patterson. And this week we've been looking at some of the city's most interesting jobs and interesting places to work. Now take a look at what we found in another part of the city. Talk about a dream job. Imagine playing the world's most beloved sport professionally, winning the World Cup in the most dramatic way possible, and going on to inspire generations to come. She's the greatest goal scorer in women's international soccer, winning a World Cup and two gold medals. Now in retirement, Mia Hamm is focused on her foundation, dedicated to supporting patients in need of marrow and cord blood transplants. Last year it for Soccer Legends, Soccer Hall of Famer, and your co-host, number nine, Mia Hamm. What does it mean to you to have had such an impact on young players today? Well, it means a lot. I mean, there are a lot of people before us, whether it's in the sport of soccer and just sports in general and in politics who, you know, didn't know who Mia Hamm was and fought for the possibility that I might be able to go to school, get an education, play the game I love and be able to play at the highest level. And, um, you know, we're just trying to pass that on. U.S. national team players who recently captivated the country with their dramatic Women's World Cup performance came out to support the Ham Foundation's fourth annual Celebrity Soccer Challenge. Mary meets over here. Mia Hamm represents it all. Um, she really kicked it off for us um, to even have an event like this. It's um, a tribute to what she did on the field, but also it shows what she's doing off the field. And now that she's retired, she's still finding ways to impact lives, which is really incredible. I know my husband and I inspired all these people. Definitely a lot of credit to Mia and um, Julie and all the all the 99 World Cup players. They started turning heads for women's soccer back then and created so much and developed so much so my generation can play our sport as a profession. Growing up playing soccer, everyone everyone knew Mia Hamm. Mia Hamm is what everyone wanted to be and she did it all. I think of her as a really good soccer player and a superstar. Would you like to have her job someday? Yeah. I love soccer. Did you, love see, soccer. did you watch the women, the World Cup? I watched all the women. I'm going to take a picture with all the ladies from the World Cup. So did, I know them all. Did they inspire you? Yes, but they're real athletes. No one play for the money, they play for the pride. I watch every game. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I watched every single one of them. And I was up like 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock in the morning watching it in China. Did, did you think they were inspiring to watch? Very inspiring. I, I enjoy watching them. They're, they're great. They're, they're the best team in the world. For Mia Hamm and her husband, all-star shortstop Nomar Garcia Para, giving back is a family affair. You know, sometimes you get so wrapped up in your training and your playing that, you know, some degree that you lose a little perspective. So, you know, now that we have a family, I, I think just life seems so much simpler and so much better now. So your daughters have a professional soccer player, a professional baseball player as parents. Um, 
some pressure there? They're going to be musicians. Okay, let's hope so. <laughs> Thanks so much. With all her fame and everything she's achieved, Mia Hamm has found true happiness off the field, giving back to families in need. But she still loves getting a goal. Well, that's it for this edition of Washington Full Circle. I hope you've enjoyed our look at some of the city's most interesting jobs and interesting places to work. For all the crew at Washington Full Circle, I'm Furman Patterson, and we'll see you again next time.